welcome back to Ancient Brews. Um, this is a really quick video today. Um, I just want to show you a little technique that I use um, to deal with a very common problem. And that common problem is, is that when we bottle a lot of our beers, especially some of the old ginger beers and the like, they can get a little feisty in the bottle. Now, if you look online and you say, what do I do with this? How do I deal with this? A lot of it says, you need to let the pressure out and then rebottle them. I'll recap them. Problem with that is that um, if you let the pressure out, quite often the thing basically explodes and you lose half your lose, lose half your beer. Um, so what I've done, I made a little um, little device to help me with that. Um, that's this thing, and I'll show you how this thing works. So what I generally use for my bottling and this only really works with that, but this is a great little idea, is I use the crown, the little pop tops. Um, there's quite a few brands that make them. Um, look in garage sales, look in markets, you'll probably find loads of them. I bought most of mine uh, from the markets, pick them up at a good rate. Um, so I've got probably 80 to 100 of these things already, which allows me to do the different beers and whatnot. So this is a ginger beer that we made in the very first video we made. It's really lively. I opened one um, a week or so ago and it pretty much exploded. Um, so the next one I opened, I held my top, my hand on the top while I opened it and let the pressure out. That took about five minutes. That's way too long for me to stand there doing that. So what I've done is I made this little rig that'll help me do that, help me go through that process. So let's do that now. So if this thing goes in here, we screw down, screw this down onto the lid. We keep it down fairly tight. I don't want that's a problem. Right, sorry about that. What I didn't realise is this bottle is actually just a tiny bit shorter than the normal bottles I use. So just a couple of extra bits of wood sit underneath to give it the right, give it the raise I need. So let's actually put this in. Screw this down. Make sure that it holds nice. Keep it nice and tight to start with because when you first pop it, this thing's really want to get lively. All right, try and get it roughly center. So now we pop this nice and slowly. All right, All right. This is still holding that lid down. So now, we undo it very slowly. I don't know if you can hear that, but... Alright. And that's now bubbling away. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is definitely bubbling away quite noisily. So, what will happen now, and you'll notice that the beer level is still here, which means I'm still going to get to keep that much of the beer that I've made. So what happens is I undo, this is put in here like this. As the carbon dioxide comes out of the suspension, it's going to force its way out. As the pressure drops, it'll reseal because there won't be enough pressure to push past the seal. So then I'll come back every few minutes or so and I will just loosen this off just half a turn, tiny bit of a turn, do it very slowly, and before we know it, we'll have another bottle, I'll be able to reseal it, put it back in the fridge. Now it will still keep fermenting a bit because there's a little bit of yeast in the bottom of the bottom of the bottle, but it will never be this lively again, and I'll still be able to enjoy an ice drink. So we'll see you shortly. Right, as you can see that has stopped fizzing away. I don't know if you can see, but the foam's only up to there. But it's not done yet, so let's undo this just a little bit. You can see the foam. Foam's rising up again. And you can see it foaming again as, it, as there's more gas to let go. We'll do that two or three more times before this thing is complete. Then when it's done, we should be good to rebottle and then put it back in the fridge. So I can drink it later when I feel like drinking it. Alright, that's had about five to ten minutes to go and buzz away. 
beer line's up to here. All right, so I've still got this much beer left. It's stopped, so let's unscrew it. All right. Repop the bottle. Give it a wipe down. And now, back in the fridge, and later I can open that, pour it into my glass, and not have to worry about beer spraying everywhere. All right. Please do like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and um, stay tuned, we'll have a new video for you very shortly. Thank you, and goodbye from Ancient Brewery for now.